Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Tuesday, the 2nd of June. Um, okay, another short one, I'm afraid. Busy as hell. I'm just amazing. A few changes, Sport in Life Change, their website where we import some data, just things that have gone absolutely pear shaped. But files are out. Um, Ultimate is done. That's out um, for you. Um, Portugal starts this week, so again, I just advise caution. Um, I uh, the racing files I've got. I, there's one game in Denmark tonight, football-wise, which is the Bromby game, and I've got value in the over two and a half. So um, back in over two and a half through the first ten minutes of that game, um, or you might want to wait till it gets to even money, and then remove your liability on goals. Uh, I quite often um, how I tend to play these because somebody asked me is I let the first um, goal go in. So let's say you've backed at two. The goal goes in, it goes down at 1.35, something like that, 1.4. Um, you've then got that time for it to rise back up to two, where you actually don't need to do anything. You could exit at two for no money uh, and no risk. In that time that it takes from the price it resets at to get back to two, you've got that time for a second goal to go in. Obviously, if a second goal goes in, you've now got two of your over 2.5. You can trade that at a much lower price depending on the time in the game. Uh, you could leave scratch, you could green it up, whatever. Um, but don't be in such a rush, particularly in the two and a half market, to um, scratch your bet. You've got that time when it gets back to two from when the first goal goes in. That, that period where the market's just going to go back to where it was um, over time as time decays and you can uh, you could scratch then you can just get out and wipe your mouth and move on to the next game um, just enables you to get more profit you see a lot of these games that well, goal goes in then another goal goes in um, you know the, the theory that goals leads to goals um, so that's what I tend to do. I tend to just sit after the first goal and see what happens. Um, and then obviously I, I can scratch it. And if the second goal goes in, then uh, you can make some real hay. Um, so that's that. I've got some horses today. Um, I've, I've just gone through my process as it was. All I'm going to do is ex is exercise to you, exercise caution. Um, this is what I was doing for you the back end of last year. Uh, and then I stop just because it's quite time consuming, but I've done it this morning. So all the horses, I'm going to put a picture on Twitter. Um, there are um, 17 selections. Some of them are decent prices. We've got horses uh, 40, 22, 80, 22, 30. Anything you bet here is at your own peril. I am not... Um, one, I cannot commit to do them every day. I will try and do them, but it is time consuming. Um, and two... Um, racing is a long term game but I, you know somebody emailed me this morning and said what is it that uh, um, about a monthly subscription thing racing genuinely is not a game to be involved or I'll join for a month you either commit and do it because it fits in your portfolio um, or you don't bother at all it's um, I'm a better not a trader you know, I know the guys who do the pre-race trading and this that, and the other that's a different game there they're not putting themselves at risk so much but with me I could go on a run of losing 25 30 points comfortably um, so you need to sit and ride it out so if you do follow any of these it is purely at your own peril um, and I will try and do them every day but I cannot promise it which then obviously leads to a day that I might have a good day and you miss winners um, so I'm just going to put them up there for interest um, at the minute. Um, two I like are in the one o'clock Latin Knight and Mafia Power. So you could have a small bet on both those Latin Knight and Mafia Power uh, in the one o'clock at Kempton. We've got two meetings today, Kempton and Newcastle. A um, couple of queries also about Austrian games. They're in their playoff stages, Austria. So that's why they're not in the FDD sheets. FDD post regular season games only. Um, now so there's no um, Austrian games on there because they are into their whatever you call it their promotion relegation phases um, okay that's it from me um, so over two and a half at Bromby Latin Knight and Mafia Power in the one o'clock at Kempton and if you want all the horses the picture will be on Twitter um, by the time you've finished listening to this podcast um, 
everything will be updated as always tomorrow just crack on in it we're back in the routine now I've, I've remembered everything i need to do so we're just now back in get up and get it on um have a great whatever it is wednesday no tuesday flipping it i'm useless that just shows you have a lovely tuesday and i will be back with you guys tomorrow i promise you i will get time to do a bit more lengthy reviews uh, podcast throw some recipes in bit of books bit of jokes um, but at the minute time is tight right have a great uh, day and i will speak to you all tomorrow